Every step you take towards your end goal will bring you closer to a better world. Here's the first line of defense. a bomb lover. that drain pipe. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. Everything's clocking together. Something has to be able to open this lock. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper.
They never lost hope you'd come, but weren't sure if they'd last long. Wants revenge on those who caged them, but trust you'll take care of it. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the Red Ray. Here's the second line of defense. danger. A big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Kaboom! You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. He had a feeling you'd get along with the Myriad tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. You seem to share the same values as the Myriad tribe. You both have the same optimistic outlook on life. At least, for now. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the World Eaters. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's forebodings are justified. The Jumbo Puff needs to be taken care of. He says the time has come to confront the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. 
Mopu far kobi. Gizmo is working on making his mecton strong enough to endure the oxygen-deprived dead zone all the way up to the World Eater. You should get over there and see what you can do to help.
Let's see. Mercadorpus outpost, a Jagni tribe stronghold. Worth a shot. a gnote, easy prey for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. Always good to have some wood scrap like that on hand. the chug yard. Someone has to end this plague before it's too late. That's more than stuck. That's not opening on its own. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. 
You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. So bright out now. Bomper Bonkers busy ram-banging the door. This is your chance. Let's see. can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. Let's see. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past.
The spent nuclear fuel that toxinol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. It carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to! <laughs> Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. <laughs> Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Hello. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seemed so centered and so seeking. <laughs> but that's not important now. <laughs> Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. <laughs> He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the Dead Zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. <laughs> you should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. There are more crates from before the apocalypse left out in the wild. Easy to find if you keep an eye out. You should be able to gather enough scrap to upgrade the Mecton from them. Don't flinch away from this. It looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework.
They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half... That's the leftover you're looking for. Some of the beasts who live here have never seen day. Seems like a sturdy rope. You're a long way from the sun. Well, what do you know?
clothes make you look unnaked. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. Why, why, not dark? He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the strips. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts.